People are not bad just when they don't mean it. So they look bad. Hello dear friends. Today I'm going to tell you the prediction of the February for Libra Ascendants. This chart is of the planets revolving in transit. Padosh is on the 9th of February and the 24th of February. Vinaya Chatyutai is on the 15th of February. Vasant Panchami is on the 16th of February. New Moon is on the 11th of February. Full Moon is on the 27th of February. Before watching the video, see your birth chart which planets Mahadisha and Ntadasha are going on, because that planet will have more influence on you. Now let's move to prediction. Here 7 number is written, so you are Libra Ascendant. If your birth horoscope also has 7 number written here, then this prediction is for you. Please do not make any mistake in watching the video, otherwise the prediction will not match. This prediction on the basis of Indian times and dates, so you should set prediction from the date and time of your country. Venus is the Lord of Libra Ascendant. Generally Libra Ascendant girls are very beautiful. Venus stays in the fourth house till February the 21st, then you can get benefit from the property. Studies will be good. Venus and Saturn are in your fourth house, so those doing business related to Saturn may face some problems. You should stay away from court cases and control your speech. Problems can come in government work. There can be differences of thought between father and son. You should chant Sun Mantra and recite Hanuman Kalisa. After the 11th of February, it will be a good time for those working in mining. This is also a good time for those working in the stock market. Jupiter being in the debilitated zodiac sign can spoil your health. Jupiter will be set till February the 12th, then you should serve the Brahmin and donate yellow things. You can get the fruits of Raja Yoga from the 12th of February to the 21st of February. In the 7th place of Mars, we make the name of Rucha. Mars become very powerful here, due to which you can get good money. Bridge life will be good. Business will also be good. A decision may come in your favor in the court case. There will be auspicious functions in the family. You should take care while driving. On February the 18th, Mars and Moon will be together, so this day will be good for you. When Mars and Rahu will come together on February the 12th, then he will make Angaric Yoga, then you will get very angry, then you will have to control your anger. You have to take the decision carefully. Rahu and Moon will be together on the 20th of February, on this day you should donate rice. Ketchu is in your second house. Mars is also looking at Ketchu, so you may benefit from your speech. You will get to know big people. Honor and respect will increase. Your financial position will be strong. Your opponents will go away. For those whose birth Mars is not good, meaning there is Mars in 4th, 8th or 12th house in your birth horoscope, then you can observe Vinayaka Chatyutai on the 15th of February. Rahu is in your 8th house, so do not argue with your in-laws. Do not dispute with your spouse. Rahu and Mars will be together from the 22nd of February to the 13th of April, so there may be debate with your in-laws, so you should feed Jagari to the cow. If Rahu is bad in your horoscope, meaning in 4th, 8th or 12th house in your birth horoscope, then you should recite Vishnu Suestra name on every new moon. Shedding coconut, in flowing water will also reduce the bad effect of Rahu. New moon is on the 11th of February in this month. If you love someone and want to propose, then February the 21st and 27th will be the best for you. So now let's see about the bad days. You are, or I am, one or two days in a month go, which gives us stress, discomfort, trouble. Pessimists make it, and that is the time when the lord of the mind and the brain enters the negative position. When the moon comes in the 6th, 8th or 12th house, it hurts us. Those who do not have a good lunar birth, they can observe Pradosh on the 9th of February and the 24th of February. 
This is the fast of Lord Shiva. 2nd, 3rd and the 4th of February. 8th and the 9th of February. 19th and the 20th of February. There will be bad days for you, so you should not take any wrong decision on this day. It is good if you do not fall into the mess of waste. Control your speech. Do not say that someone's soul is hurt. Your expenses may increase. Health problems can also come. Talking about a good day, February the 18th, 22nd and 23rd will be auspicious for you. Now know about Gaj Keshri Yoga. When Jupiter and Moon are together, or Jupiter and Moon face to face each other, or in four places, then Gaj Keshri Yoga is formed. Just like now, the Jupiter is here, when the Moon will come here, in Capricorn or it will come here in Aries, or it will come here in Cancer, or it will come here in Libra. Then due to Jupiter and Moon, Gaj Keshri Yoga will be formed. In Gaj Keshri Yoga, there is a combination of Jupiter and Moon. Jupiter means money and Moon means water. So during this day the flow of money is good. If you do some business, then you can collect payment from someone. During these days, you can get benefit. So this is Gaj Keshri Yoga. Gaj Keshri Yoga is being prepared for you in these four days. The 4th of February, the 11th of February, the 18th of February and the 25th of February. These four days will be beneficial for you. For the remedy, people with Libra Ascendant should worship Goddess Dugga. Your lucky number will be 6th and 9th for this month. Lucky color will be white and black. On every new moon, February the 11th, put some black sesame in water and offer it to the peepal tree, will get the benefit too. So this was the February month prediction for Libra Ascendant. Keep watching our channel for more information. Thank you.